Hello everyone, Green Gemini here and welcome to a Sim Casino tutorial video. Today I'm going to be looking at staff management and scheduling. In this video we're going to go ahead and cover the different staff types, what buildings or areas those staff members will belong to, how to navigate the staff hub screen, how to navigate the schedule screen, and then hopefully by the end of this video you should have a better understanding of how to manage your staff and to not get bled dry with the amount of money that they can cost you. <laughs> I mean, cause come on, staff are expensive, right? Sure. All right, anyway, so right now we're on this uh, casino that I currently have built up. Love this casino. Uh, it's been, it's actually been doing really, really well lately. Yes, we're negative, but that's, you know, a whole nother thing. Uh, the first thing that I want to do, though, is I'm not going to get into this. We're going to go over to a different casino that I've put together, and we're going to take a look at the buildings and the staff members that belong to those specific building components in the game. All right, so here we are in our little test environment casino that I've built up here. And yeah, we, you know, we still have people coming in and out and it's no big deal. Um, you'll, you'll see some zones thrown down and everything else. Um, but I want to get into what areas that we have that have the actual zones um, or that have the actual staff that are assigned to certain areas. So if you come down to your staff hub and then click on manage schedules and set patrol areas, this is the screen that will come up. Now we'll get into how to do all of this stuff later. What I want to do first is I just kind of want to cover uh, what each staff overlay it is in this area. So I'm <laughs> having a hard time talking today. <laughs> all right, so anyway, um, you have all of these different different staff types. So we have trusted staff, security guards, retail workers, chef, housekeeper, workmen, and then pit bosses. So your trusted staff are gonna be the ones who work in the tables. They will be your bingo area, your bedding window, and also your box office for the movie theater, okay? So you can see how all of these have a little one. Let me zoom in here. We have a one next to it. And then in the little pop-up window that's right there, down toward the bottom, you can see where it says a maximum of one person. So each of these will only have one person allowed to them because that is all that is ever needed. Okay. So then moving on to your security guard. Security guards are going to be those that oversee your casino and handle your cash, right? So we have our cash vault, the cashier, and then the security office itself when you get that built up. Now, again, you can hover over the security office. You can see there's a maximum of one guy that can be assigned to that. Now, that one guy is only per desk. So if you have a large security office, you can have one security guard per desk that is in there. Cashier cage, same thing, only one maximum here. However, when you get to the cash vault, this is where you can have a maximum of 999 for the cash vault. Now, obviously with the small casino that we have, we don't really need that many. But say we wanted to add a couple extra, we just left click, one, two, three. So we have four security guards now, but if you wanna go down, see so you don't need that many, right click and it takes it away. So left click to go up, right click to go down. Okay, very easy, very simple. So there you go. That's what happens with the security stuff, with the uh, security guards. Now you have the retail workers. Retail workers are going to be the ones that take your uh, drink bar, your cash register in the buffet, and then your players club. That is where all of those are assigned to. So very easy, very simple on the retail workers. Your chef, only one spot the chef can be in, that is to the kitchen. Again, same thing with the kitchen, maximum of 999. So left click, right click to add and subtract. I guess I should say with the retail workers, maximum workers on these is only one each. So if you need more people to man a register, you're gonna have to build multiple registers in that buffet area. I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of details when it comes to certain things. Right now, we're just gonna look at the general overview of how to schedule people. We won't dive into the actual, um, you know, bingo buffet and all that kind of stuff right now. We'll do other tutorials on that. 
All right, housekeeping. Housekeeping isn't actually in this area. Housekeeping has to do with your garbage folks that are down here. Again, maximum of 99, 999 that can be in there, not 99 people, 999. And again, same thing, add and subtract. Very easy, very simple. And then workmen, same thing. Deliveries over here, that's where your workmen are at. And then last but not least, you have your pit bosses. Now your pit bosses have to be in an actual office. Again, maximum one pit boss per office. So you would have to create, um, there's a couple different things that we might be able to do with that. We could create a couple different offices. Um, I think if we go, let's try this on this tutorial right now, just to see if we're able to do so. We're gonna dismantle that and the door. Let's take my wall out. Oops, let's go out five. And like, oop, and like that. We're gonna dismantle that one too. <laughs> and we're gonna say, that's gonna go here. We will construct a door, staff door. is gonna go here. We will take this out like so we will go with the we will search for the pit boss office we have that we will copy that and place that in and then when we go into our scheduling is that going to work are we going to have two available here nope still only allowed a maximum of one so even though we have two desks in there, you can only have one pit boss office. So you have to have two separate offices in order for that to happen. So is the game going to allow us to, and I'm just trying this out just on a whim here. Nope, because I have that in the way. So we'll take that, put that here, take our wall, go to here, add a door to there, and there you go. So then we're gonna be able to have two pit boss offices. Obviously, we're, I'm not gonna recommend that you do that. You know, you're gonna wanna make sure the offices are side by side. Same thing with the security office then. You're not gonna be able to do, you know, more than one security desk in there. You're gonna have to make sure, well, you know, you know what, I don't know. I don't know. Let's take a look at the security office too. We'll take a look at that. Let's go ahead and go uh, take this out by five. Put that in, take this out and we'll take that put that here security office is going to go there and then staff hub back up to manage staff go up to security guards and you can have well it's a maximum of one per desk so you can have with these you can have more than one in here because it's assigned per desk the pit boss office it's one pit boss per office okay makes sense good all right questions comments concerns you have about any of that put it in the comment section down below there's still a lot more that we're going to be covering here what i want to do now again basic overview of what buildings belong to what Okay, now we're going to jump back over to my regular casino and then we're actually going to do some schedules and kind of figure out how we want to have people going in and out of here. All right, so now that we know that which staff members belong to which groups in the game of all the buildings and stuff that are in here, all the objects and everything, we can take a look at our casino and we can see that as an overview here, we've got all of our gaming tables up here which it looks like i need to adjust some scheduling on that um and then more gaming tables up here again more scheduling to <laughs> update on that and i know i need to update some scheduling here so first thing that i want to look at when it comes to this is we want to take a look at our staff hub and then you want to go you actually want to go over to the guest experience so in your guest experience you have your demographic breakdown in this breakdown, it actually gives you the peak visiting times for when people are coming in here. So reading this in military time, this is 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then for the that's for the gambler. For the entertainee, for the theater aspect of things, 
that is from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Business services, that's going to be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then the hotel lodger, it's actually busiest between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. That's kind of where I've messed up a little bit. And then obviously it gives you the peak days for visiting too. So Saturday and Sunday, Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Which makes total sense. It's going to be a lot busier on the weekends than it is going to be uh, during the week for all of this other stuff, except for the businesses. They, they conduct their business Monday through Friday. So keeping that in mind, I want to look at my hotel area first. Now, when you build your casino, you may not necessarily have all of these components in one. I've got all of this stuff built in here, mostly because I was trying it out on stream and because it gives a good overview of everything that we can do in the game. All right. So looking at our hotel stuff and our lodgers, currently right now, I only have two retail workers. Yes, uh, that's something that I might have left out. So in the hotel reception desk, you have retail workers that are assigned to this. So when you're looking at your retail workers and everything, you got to kind of keep that in mind when you're scheduling them. So in order to get into the schedule, you go to your staff hub and then go into manage schedules and set patrol areas first. First thing that we're going to look at is we are going to look at our retail workers. So that is these guys right here. Keep in mind, again, keep in mind that retail workers has to go with the hotel reception, your bars, your cashiers over here with the buffet and also your players club. OK, so the first thing that I actually want to do is I want to get rid of all of that stuff. We're going to leave the whole thing peak. Everything is, is at peak, right? Um, I don't necessarily like that closed one. So you can add different ones. You can add new stuff onto here. So we can go ahead. Let's add in uh, this schedule here. And we're actually going to call this one hotel. So it said that our busiest peak time was between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. So I think I'll set this just before 1 a.m. Because remember, we have to have our staff scheduled. Like when you schedule them, they still have to come in. So we'll schedule it right before 1 a.m. Actually, let's schedule it like right around midnight ish. And we'll go until about we're currently dead right now. And it's about 540 in the morning. So let me go till about 430. Let's say about five o'clock. So during this hotel time, I want to make sure that I have all four of these reception desks open. OK, however, during this time, the casino itself is completely dead. There's nobody in here. So I want to make sure that my cash registers for the buffet are set to zero. I want to make sure that my players club is off as well, because I don't want to have to pay that person to stay there all the time. I'm going to keep this. Actually, I'm going to keep this drinks bar closed. We'll keep that one open. This one will keep open 24 seven. OK, so any other any schedule that I put in here, I'll make sure that that one's open at all times. We'll make sure that our outdoor drinks bar here is closed. And then I'm going to come up here to this drink bar that I have outside on this landing here. That one will also be closed. OK. So then at five o'clock in the morning, the question is, OK, what needs to change? What needs to be open? What's going to happen? So in our morning hours, I'd say we start getting guests in about 7 a.m. I think we can still go ahead and keep a couple of things closed. We don't need to worry too much about keeping some of our busy stuff open until later on in the afternoon. So let's set our morning hours all the way up until midday. All right, so now that I have the morning stuff in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to relook at some of this stuff. So during my morning hours, I don't need this many of these guys in here. So what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and take out, say, let's right click on these, take these guys out. All right. There's something else I'm going to let you guys know about, too, but we'll do it once we get this whole thing done. <laughs> so we'll take two of them out here. We'll leave two in the morning hours. Now, this peak hour that's here, let's see, and you have to make sure that you have this uh, selected too. Sorry, I'm kind of going a little, little all over the place, but I'm getting better at this, okay? So <laughs> we have our morning hour here. We'll go there. So during this peak time, for this, this technically isn't a peak for us. We're just going to call this, I'm going to, I'm going to, mm, where's my thing at? I'm going to rename peak, okay? And then I'm going to go into here and let's just rename this uh, daytime, I guess. 
So we'll do that. So we'll rename that daytime. Um, so during daytime hours, again, we're going to take these two off of here. I want to make sure that at midday, the cash registers are open for the buffet. I want to make sure that the players club is open here. Uh, we'll make sure that these two bars are open here. I will go ahead. Do I want to have this bar open? No, probably not. Probably not. And then let's go up one. We'll leave the outside bars closed until probably later on in the evening. Um, so this will be our daytime hours here. And then we're going to go. Let's add another one and we're going to say evening. And then our evening hours will be from 6 until, say, about, what? what is that, 12.30 in the morning, probably? Yeah. And then so for our evening hours, we'll have that one open. We'll have this one open. We'll make sure that the cash registers stay open. I've got a bunch of money dropped on the floor there. And then we'll still keep these two hotel reception areas open. I may need to open up another one. It just kind of depends on the flow of the people and everything. Uh, so we'll just kind of watch it throughout the day to see how it works uh, and then kind of adjust it from there. So always make sure you're paying attention to the certain areas in your casino to kind of see how they're working out. So that's, a, that's an easy way to kind of figure out with several different things having the same type of um, link to it. So we have different retail areas, but still being able to utilize how all of it is adjusted, right? Now, the other thing that you have to make sure of too is make sure that you are looking at your staff schedule overlay for the weekday and for Saturday and Sunday. When you go to Saturday and Sunday, it's completely different. All right. So what I want to do is if I go to Monday through Friday, I want to copy. I don't think I can copy this whole thing. Nope, I can't. I cannot. I can rename. I can copy staff into evening. Um, but no. So I'm just going to have to remember. So midnight to five is hotel. So we'll go midnight to five is hotel. We'll keep evening. No, we're going to say morning to midday. We're going to say daytime, midday. Come on. There you go. Now, all of this, again, is subject to change because this is in early access. Uh, once there are updates and stuff like that done, I will make sure that I update that. And that was from 6 to 11, I believe. For right now, I kind of want to keep it the same. Um, and then we'll kind of see how... Just kind of see how your your flow of people go when it comes to your casinos and your hotels and everything else. And then you can adjust it from there. Um, you can always on Saturday and Sunday say you want to have uh, in the evening hours, um, I want to have three in here instead of four and in, instead of two, uh, because it is going to be a little bit busier during that time. And then you can go back to your Monday and Friday and then or Monday through Friday, sorry. And then once you go to Monday through Friday, you have just your two in the evening. So always make sure you're paying attention to that. Now, the other way that you can do this, once you have all of that set up, you can, if you want to, go into the staff hub and then go into your retail workers here. And then you can select your drinks bar. You can have them open or not open during a certain schedule instead of having to go into the schedule manager itself and doing it and then trying to find every single little piece, you can do that. Me personally, I prefer to go into the actual schedule right here and look at every single building that I have. All right. So I'm going to walk through one more of these because I want you guys to kind of see how such as the security guards. All right. So the security guards that I have right now, my peak hours when it comes to gambling is obviously in the evening time. So during my closed hours, I don't have anybody in the vault. I have nobody going through picking up any type of um, money. Now, 
Monday through Friday, that's really no big deal. But on Saturday and Sunday, when it's busier, I have my schedules changed to where my daytime hours or my, my busier hours, I have two of these guys in here and it goes all the way up until 1 a.m. And then it starts up again at 7 a.m. having somebody in here in the morning. And that's mostly because, you know, it's the weekend, it's busy, we gotta have these guys in here. Now again, you gotta just double check and make sure that your scheduling is matching up with your cashiers. Up here on the top floor is where I have all of my blackjack tables, craps tables, poker, all that kind of stuff. So my cashiers that provide the chips and everything to these are near that area, okay? So then going into my staff scheduling, the security guards are going to be scheduled for here. When it's closed, when we have nobody in here that's gambling, we have these at zero because I don't need to pay anyone to stand in there if I'm not gonna have any staff that's gonna be standing over here. Now, granted, trusted staff, currently when it's closed, um, something happened to where this got reset. So we have to set all of these to zero. And then when the time comes, and these guys leave, the customers that are standing there, the gamblers that are standing there gambling, will also leave too when it comes that certain time. All of them will get up and just go away. All right, so going back into my staff hub here, okay? So we have the trusted staff. And then what I did in the mornings is that I have a couple, let's do this, let's go with a couple of these and a roulette table. Let's not do any of the Hold'em. And let's do two of the craps tables. And again, that's just for my morning. And then for daytime, I wanna make sure that everything is open. Because again, typically around one o'clock, at least for this casino that I have, it gets a little busy. Again, it all depends on how you've built your casino how your traffic flow is gonna happen and how that's gonna go, uh, how big your casino is and, and everything else. There's a lot of different factors with it. A lot of different factors. Okay. And then the last thing that I want to look at is your pit boss. So your pit boss will just kind of hang out here in the office until you actually give him a patrol. Now the patrols are a little, they're still working on these a little bit. Um, to me, it's a little clunky, but that's okay. Again, early access, it happens. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on the plus over here for a new patrol. That will give you this little icon right here. I wanna have this guy or gal, I wanna have her patrol this area in here. So the best way that I have found to do this has been to click here and then just kinda drag it over, kind of make like a square area. Say, let's go something like that. Okay, so that'll give her a couple different points to, let's do something like, do something, a, a third click here. So that gives her, you can kind of see the area that she's gonna be walking through, all right? So when you get a comfortable spot of what you wanna do, just go ahead and right click and then it will save that where it's at and then you won't have to do anything else. Now, you can still click on this patrol, don't do anything else with it, and then it'll show you where she starts and where she ends, okay? Now, again, the uh, I think the schedule hours for the pit boss, that has not changed yet. So we can't actually do anything with the pit boss when it comes to saying we want them here or we don't want them here. Currently right now they are here 24 seven. Not much else we can do about that until the devs get that fixed, which hopefully that'll be fixed soon. But again, it's the same concept as everything else. Wait a second, I thought I could do that. Didn't I say I could? Oh yeah, you can. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so what I want to do with the pit boss is I kind of want to have the pit boss mimic the trusted staff schedule that's kind of in here. So from midnight till 8 a.m., no one needs to be here, and then they're here the rest of the time. So let me go back to my pit boss, 
midnight to 8 a.m. is no, and then daytime is a yes. And again, always make sure that you're selecting these specific ones if they're down here. If you're selecting this and then doing this, like right clicking or left clicking, if you don't have bar down here, it's not going to do anything with this. So any schedule type that you have down here, make sure that your assigned person is here when you actually want them to be here. All right, so the last couple of things that I wanna look at are your chefs. So currently right now I have two chefs assigned to this kitchen just because of how big this is. And then I actually have the chefs coming in around 11 a.m. Uh, if I remember correctly, I'm not entirely sure what time I have the retail workers coming in. So morning hours, I have one, uh, which I'm gonna go ahead and take that down to zero because I don't have the chefs coming in until 11. So no one's really gonna be actually be able to eat any food. They could get drinks if they wanted to, but we have a bar for drinks. So we'll nix that and then we'll make sure that at daytime, we have one cashier. In the evening time, we will go ahead and do our two cashiers. Now, with as busy as the way this has been getting lately, might have to add more in there, but you know, that's, that's for another time. <laughs> and then last thing that I wanna look at is when it comes to the garbage and the deliveries. So deliveries, when it comes to your workmen, they will take your deliveries, they will move it into your stock rooms, and then your workmen will actually also deliver goods from your storage area to places such as your drink bar, they deliver your notes and stuff like that over to your cash registers, to your, um, what are these called, slot machines? <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't think of that. So you can never have zero workmen in here. You always have to have them in here. Now, what you could do is you could only assign your workmen to come in at night and then they refill everything in the evenings. So you could do something like that. There's so many different possibilities and different ways that you can manage the staffing schedule. And it's all about your needs and how you want to do it. I am just here to show you how the functionality of it works. So, that is pretty much it in a nutshell. I know I didn't cover too much when it came to the um, staff management screen here. It's it's okay. Um, you can use like this right here. You can go to location. It will take you to the actual like, you know, we're being taken to the kitchen. Uh, you can also use like this one. It'll take you to uh, this blackjack table. Now, granted, I'm not upstairs. We're downstairs. So we have to go up with it real quick. Um, so there's just a couple different things that you currently have no pit boss scheduled to be, oh, well that's fine because we don't need a pit boss here right now because none of the tables are open. Um, so that's kind of, it's really just a quick overview, not really a quick overview, but that's a good overview of how the staff scheduling works. You guys can tinker with it, play around with it, um, see how you like it. Uh, if you have questions, comments, concerns, put it in the comment section down below. And then if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notified on when I upload videos. I'm also streaming this twice a week right now on Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, granted, during the holidays and everything that are coming up, when this video is coming out, there's going to be a little less streams. But on a regular basis, this will be streamed. So come and join the fun and have a good time. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.